It's 10 trivia questions on children's book synonyms. This is Trivia with Buds. What it be, and welcome to another episode of the Trivia with Buds podcast. I'm your host, Ryan Buds. Thanks for checking out the show, and thanks for telling a friend who loves trivia to give it a listen. If you want to play trivia with me in Northeast Tennessee, which has gorgeous weather today in April 2024, almost May, uh, check out my website, triviawithbuds.com slash shows. You can see my weekly shows there in Tennessee and a whole ton more shows in Southern California around the LA area. Places like High Point Brewing Company in San Dimas, California on Wednesdays. Places like R.T. Rogers Brewing on Thursdays in Sierra Madre. California. And here in Tennessee at places like Tennessee Hills, Brew Stillery, downtown Johnson City, 7 p.m. every Tuesday night. And how about Thursdays at Flanagan Brothers Beer Works in Kingsport, Tennessee, every other Thursday, usually with me or my good friend C.J. Ferguson running the show. So check it all out, TriviaWithBuds.com slash shows. Today's episode is all about children's book synonyms. I'll give you some titles of books with alternate wording. You try and figure out what books we're talking about. Before we get there, we've got our letter C and this category's categories of famous duos and trios, things found in a hospital and a girl's name. Famous duos and trios, things found in a hospital and a girl's name, all starting with C. Listen for my three answers that start with C at the end of the episode, along with a fun fact of the day about Mambo Number no. 5 singer Lou Bega. Some fun stuff you might not know. All right, we're all warmed up, we're ready to go, and we're jumping into children's book synonyms. Here we go. <laughs> It's children's book synonyms. Translate these words into popular kids' book titles. Number one, Pleasant Twilight Celestial Body. Number one, Pleasant Twilight Celestial Body. Number one. Number two, The Velour Hair. The Velour Hair. Number three, A Crease in Chronology. A Crease in Chronology. Number four, the Poltergeist Levy Station. The Poltergeist Levy Station. Number five, in case you supply a rodent a baked good. Number five, in case you supply a rodent a baked good. Number six, the small abode located upon the grassland. Number six, the small abode located upon the grassland. Number seven, tally the celestial objects. Tally the celestial objects. Number eight, the classified greenhouse. The classified greenhouse. Number nine, exciting destinations await. Exciting destinations await. Number 10, minuscule motor ambition. Minuscule motor ambition. And number 11, children's book synonyms, bonus for two points. Translate this children's book from Portuguese. O toque de chocolate. O toque, T-O-Q-U-E, de chocolate. Those are all your questions on children's book synonyms. We'll be right back with the answers after this. We are back with the answers to children's book synonyms. Let's see how you did. Number one, Pleasant Twilight Celestial Body, Good Night Moon was the answer. Number two, The Velour Hair, Hair was spelled H-A-R-E, The Velveteen Rabbit. Number three, A Crease in Chronology is a Wrinkle in Time. Number four, The Poltergeist Levy Station, Phantom Toll Booth. I remember my fifth grade teacher, Mr. Creighton, read that one out loud to the class. Number five, In Case You Supply a Rodent a Baked Good, If You Give a Mouse a Cookie. Number six, the small abode located upon the grassland, little house on the prairie. Number seven, tally the celestial objects, number the stars. Number eight, the classified greenhouse, the secret garden. Number nine, exciting destinations await, oh, the places you'll go. Number 10, minuscule motor ambition, the little engine that could. And number 11, translate this children's book from Portuguese, O Toque de Chocolate was the chocolate touch, where the kid touches everything and it turns to chocolate, not to be confused with chocolate fever which is uh, also great. 
Those are all your questions and answers for children's book synonyms. Hope you had a good time playing along today. Your fact of the day is Lou Bega, iconic singer of uh, the Cuban song Mambo Number no. 5, is a German man of Italian and Ugandan Ugandan descent. His only interaction with Cuban culture was a vacation to Miami as a teenager. If you didn't know that, now you know. And your letter was C, famous duos and trios. I'm going to say the captain and Tennille. Things found in a hospital. How about cortisone? And a uh, girl's name, Cynthia. Thanks for listening. Thanks for telling a friend. And we'll see you next time for more trivia with Buds. Cheers.